Hey everybody, what's up? Today's video is gonna look a little different because we're now doing weekend vlogs. So we're out here in Ballard, Washington. Pretty cool little town. We're at Market Street Shoes looking for some Birkenstock. So I'm gonna go through the outfit I'm wearing a little later, but let's go in and let's buy some new Birkenstocks. These are the ones that we came in here for and the main reason that i want these these are the birkenstock soft bed grip i think in the grip series has this silver and this silver matches the silver jewelry that i wear as opposed to the rose gold i'm not a huge fan of the rose gold because i don't like mix matching metals so we're going to see if they have this one in my size 44 cool Also not strapped either, so. If, I mean, it feels fine. Well, this is the 44? Yeah. And then what other size do we have? The 43. I can give you the 43? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's going to be too small. Yeah, it looks like your toes and your heel are hitting the right spots, what they're supposed to. 43 might be too small. Is 44 not a common size? Not really. Not for Birkenstocks, at least. Interesting. I don't, I've never brought out a 44 for a Birkenstock. I had him try those on because I wanted to see what he looked like in them. Yeah, I don't know. I think the 44, like... Yeah, I think the 44 would definitely do you better, especially because when you start walking, yeah. you don't want your toes either yeah. going over or hitting that front. Yeah, if I, you get over a nine. Yeah, I think the 44 it is then. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Give it comfortable. It's going to be 148.84. Thank you. Yeah, I've been looking everywhere for these with the silver buckle. Really? And, I mean, other than ordering them, nobody has them. He got them. We have them. So, we're going to take these back. We'll put these on. We'll test them out today. We'll see how they work. Walking around, down in Seattle, wherever we're going to be. And then I'll tell you about the rest of my outfit. But first, I really need food. I really need food. So, let's go. Okay, so this is vegan. It is tofu pastrami. And you'd never know. It's so good. Oh. If you come to Seattle, you have to come here. This is amazing. Even if you're not vegan, come try it out. Okay, so it's so loud down here. This is the Railwind Windzip popover, and I love this thing. I've been wearing it like every couple days, and that's the one thing I don't like about it. If I could change one thing about it, it would have a little bit of like elastic in it, especially like elastic arm gussets to be able to stretch to take it off. Otherwise, you have to like pry it off. It's my only complaint, but I do think having elastic in this would shorten the lifespan. I think this material is gonna last forever. Like, it's never gonna degrade, it's never gonna fall apart. These things are way overbuilt, which you pay a lot for them, so it makes sense. Now, underneath that, I went with the heavyweight pocket tee from Flint and Tinder. I really, I enjoy this shirt. I know there's some people that have complaints about it, but I love it. 
Now I'm gonna tell you about the shorts. I just picked these up this week and I, li I literally think these are my favorite shorts I've ever found. And obviously you know the cat and hat. I love this hat. It's kind of the, the color scheme I've been looking for but Megan's gonna get backed into so we gotta go. Okay, so we walked around for like 10 minutes. This place is atrocious. If, if you're coming here, absolutely skip this. This is terrible. You can't walk. People are stepping on my feet. They're pushing you out of the way. It's loud. If you're an over, a, on a, a person who gets sensory overload like I am and you don't do well in environments like this, stay out of here. The stuff inside is not worth buying. It's all like cheap junk garbage that you'd find at like a flea market. The food is subpar. You can find much better food other places. The crowds are just stupidly insane here. Skip this. Oh, there's one thing I can promise you. It's that our vlogs tend to not go this way. Today was just not, not a good day. I'm definitely more of like a quiet, like nature person, like get out get on the trails, maybe small towns, coffee shop, but touristy things, they're not for me whatsoever. So next vlog, I promise we're going to get out. We're going to get on a hike. We're going to put some gear to the test. These shorts though, I told you I was going to tell you why these are my favorite shorts. So I just picked these up from Rourke. They were delivered this week. Um, they're like a canvas material. And as you can see here, they tie. So instead of having a button, so if you're between sizes, like I'm between a 33 and a 34, but these fit that range like perfect. We have zippered pockets, which I love because then you, you put stuff in it. You don't have to worry about it falling out when you're out on a trail or even if you're sitting down like at a restaurant or something. The one thing I don't like though is I carry a knife. I carry a pocket knife from the James brand and it has a clip on it because I tend to like to clip it right inside my pocket just to be able to access it quickly. But with the zipper here, I can't really do that. So I either have to like put it in this back pocket, but I can't do that either because it has a pocket specifically for your phone. And I love that. I'm a phone in the back pocket kind of person. The buttons right here are nice. They're super snappy and quick. Overall, they're, they're very comfortable and actually in the pocket. I don't know if you can see this. If I get up close here, there's an extra pocket in the pocket. So my wallet fits perfectly inside of this. It's not going to work because it's got to be like down, but I can put this in and set my wallet in that extra little pocket and it stays secure. It doesn't slide around in my pocket, which I, I love. The shoes are great. I, I can't say anything bad about the shoes. I know there's some people that are going to look at them and be like, oh, your feet are out. That's disgusting. You know what? Get over yourself. I, I get so many comments anytime I'm barefoot, people are like just offended. I don't wear shoes 90% of the time. So you don't like it, don't watch it. I really don't care. <laughs> the shirt, super comfortable. I love this. I love more of a heavyweight tee. I think it looks better. And a, a tip for those of you out there, if you've got a bit of a dad bod going on and you're trying to find a shirt that kind of covers that midsection, obviously until you can eat better and get to the gym and get rid of it, a heavyweight t-shirt is going to do better at covering that up and hiding a little bit of excess stomach, whereas thinner t-shirts are going to stick. They're going to kind of cling to you. They're going to show that a lot more prominently than something heavyweight. It's going to set better. It's going to be heavier. And again, it's going to hide that midsection. So if, if you're trying to do that, heavyweight is the way to go. If you want to pick up anything in this outfit, it's in the link in the description below. And I will see you this following week for our technical upload, which is gonna be the Duck Boots, a minimalist boot from Denmark. They've been making it for the last 50 years by hand. I'm pretty excited, it's a cool review. See you then.
I'm gonna go take a fat dab and try to relax. Thank you.